Hey, 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 Aries, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do, whoops, ready to do your Wednesday, April 29th to the 30th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aries. Before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in any personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. All right, Aries, I'm going to get four cards here. And then get a message from Spirit for you. Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. We have the Two of Cups, Aries, the Tower, the World card, and the Four of Cups. Okay, let's get this message and see what's up. Take comfort in knowing that you are on the right path, Aries. Some of you may be questioning this. Let yourself go when it comes to creative pursuits, when it comes to creativity. Just let loose. Let loose. Just do, don't think. If that makes any, well, that makes sense to an Aries. You're all about action. So that's what I love about Aries. <sighs> love is escaping you at the moment, Aries, they're saying. You're not that concerned about it because I feel like you're really pursuing something creative or you're, you're pursuing something. Uh, I do feel it's creative, but your, your heart and head are all in. So it's like if it shows up, it shows up. But, eh, right? That's what you're thinking. That's what I'm thinking. That's what Spirit's telling me. All right. Huh. That's funny. So if it shows up, it shows up, huh, Aries? I think it's showing up. You've got the Two of Cups here, and you've got the Tower. Now the Tower is, it, what I'm feeling from this Tower is like, bam. Oof. You know when something just shocks the shit out of you, and it's like, it's almost like ramming into somebody when you're walking unexpectedly. That's exactly what I'm feeling from this. And that may literally happen. It's like, bam. And the earth shook. Yep. The two of cups, right? Twin flame soulmate energy. I love you. You love me. Let's go to the bedroom, maybe. So the four of cups. Be careful you're not so engrossed in you, this creative project that... Um, You'll lit maybe that's why you'll literally bump into them like while walking. That's what I'm feeling like. Um, I mean, although it's it's pretty hard to bump into people nowadays. It's so hard nowadays just to get somebody to shake your hand. But somebody shook my hand today. I was like, yeah, damn. I'm not the only one who's like not walking around with a mask. And so fearful of everything, you know. All right, so let's clarify this shit. You're wanting to start a new cycle. What's at a distance for you? I feel like love is a distant memory for you. And this is why it's like... Ah, if it comes, it comes. So you're not looking for it. You're almost totally not wanting to see it. That's why I feel like the universe needs to bring in this tower for you when it comes to love. Because it's like you could take it or leave it. 
this tower is your wish fulfillment with the nine of cups here whether you know it or not you may sit here and say no i don't want love oh yes you do and i feel like well, look at that there you are the emperor this is clarifying the four of cups the emperor the ace of swords and death this love will literally, literally transform you and your life in a good way you'll know you'll know you want this as soon as you run into it so i feel like i don't feel like the opportunity is going to be missed i feel like this is showing up You've got two fours here, by the way. So you're really focusing. That's where I think your focus is now. Your foundation, right? What you're building. Could be a business. The emperor is here, so it's probably a business. You're transforming something. You could be transforming yourself. But I feel like when this tower comes and things go boom, it's like it almost gives you a couple of light bulb moments that you didn't, you didn't believe that a love could bring. You didn't believe that a soul connection could, could trigger um, such epiphanies within you. But you will. And you'll actually go with it because the emperor is all about action. So whatever epiphanies that you get, whatever ideas that you get, which you will get plenty, um, you're going to have true clarity, really. So who is this person? They could be coming from a distance. They could be at a distance. Because you do have the world card and the six of swords. If they're not at a distance, they're coming from situation, a situation where it was like tumultuous. Um, they're trying to move on to peace. So it's somebody searching for peace. Yeah, speaking of peace, right? The hangman, card of Pisces, the card of going within, the card of reflection, the card of epiphanies too. So not only will you have epiphanies, they'll have epiphanies. This person's going to come in quick, quicker than you think. Mm-hmm. Ten of Swords, Two of Pentacles. This is what they're coming from. An ending, being backstabbed, lied to, um, betrayed, really, betrayed. So they, they've just regained their balance. They're, they're healing. But I feel like when they meet you, it's like they're healing. Yeah, this is definitely a soul reunion. I was going to say twins, but... Let's just say soulmates. Because it is feeling a little twinny with these with these mirrored epiphanies. Mirrored, um, it's like the same not but a little bit different. So what is spirit's advice for Aries regarding this? What is spirit's advice for you? Seven of Wands. Release those walls a little. Release those walls. Okay? You can still stand up and put boundaries, right? Make boundaries with somebody, even in a love relationship, sure. But don't be so rigid where, you know, it's your way or the highway, right? What other... Ten of Pentacles. Spirit saying, focus on your Pentacles. Focus on building. Because I feel like because of this non-focus on love is the reason why it's coming in. It's, it's like when you take your focus away from it, it comes, which is what always happens. It's releasing resistance just by doing that. And that's what you're doing. Even though you have this resistance here, it's such a dichotomy. Even though you have this resistance here with the Seven of Wands, right? It's like you're, re you're releasing resistance just by focusing on yourself in your business 
because that's when at the same time this abundance of love this abundance of feeling is coming towards you and i must say that whatever you're doing and focusing on you are also loving it's something that you love it could be an empress now you have the empress to the emperor this is taurus or libra energy this is somebody who wants to expand somebody who knows their worth i do feel you will know their worth you are the emperor so you're not going to miss that um i feel like i feel like you'll know as soon as you look at each other it's it's like there you are that's what i'm feeling both of you. Don't free, be afraid to expand with this person. You're focusing on expansion of the self, of course, yes. But don't be afraid to expand with this person also or invest time into them, okay? Because your patience will pay off. So offer them something start small if you need to Aries okay because it can always grow you are the emperor and empress you know how to make things grow if you're building an empire woof you mean an empress forget about it nine of wands make sure that you're not protecting protecting something that you really don't need to protect okay all right, Aries, I hope this resonated. I hope this made sense. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. You have yourself a fabulous day, Aries, and I'll talk to you soon.